quick explanation on expected assists or XA. This is part 2 of a series on expected values in football. Part 1 focused on XG or expected goals. This video builds on that so if you haven't seen it quickly watch it and come back. Expected assists like expected goals is part of the expected values family of stats. Expected values is used as a predictive tool to quantify the likelihood of a certain outcome given a situation based on historical data of a similar situation. The formula didn't actually originate in football. It is used in every other industry such as finance, crime, traffic, gambling, etc. It can be used anywhere with a set parameter where probability is finite. It basically quantified intuition. It does what humans do intuitively but thousands of times better because it puts millions of similar situations into consideration. So just like how XG is a measure of shot quality giving you a probability that a given shot will go in based on historical data, expected assist gives you a probability that a given pass will result in an assist based on where it was received. Simply put, expected assists or XA is an XG value of where the pass was received. Why is this important? Well, it gives credit where credit is due. Not all assists are created equal, and XA gives you a more accurate representation of creativity. Just like XG, it's the best predictive tool available. It's a far better predictor of future assists than things such as past assists, chances created, or key passes. Okay, picture this. 2006 at the Santiago Bernabeu, second leg, Arsenal vs Real Madrid in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Henri receives the ball on the halfway line from Cesc with what looks like a nothing chance because there are four defenders between him and the goal. Henri takes the ball, turns, shrugs off El Phenomeno, leaves Mejia for dead, rides a challenge from Guti, effortlessly glides its way down the pitch because Henri doesn't run, he glides, obviously. Steps past Ramos and finesses it past a sprawling Casillas, winning the tie for Arsenal that leads to a fairy tale run all the way to the final which which we never speak of. Henri, for all intents and purposes, created that chance out of absolutely nothing. But Cesc still got the assist for his 5 yard pass at the halfway line. And that assist holds the same weight as a perfectly weighted through ball right into the stride of the receiver for a 1v1 with the keeper from Ozo. Where's the justice in that? Or better yet, what about the perfect square ball for a wide open net that his teammate misses? That hardly seems fair to Ozo, who's had to play with Sir Olivier Giroud who do that on a regular basis. Compare that to someone like David Silva who's had Aguera to create for all his career. As you can see, assists are a terrible measurement of judging creativity. They're at best a vague representation of it. Stats like chances created and clear cut chances are a far more accurate measure of creativity. But they both have massive downsides. Chances created stats count as a chance only if a pass resulted in a shot. Apart from not giving you a value of those shots, they have a massive problem because they only count if that pass results in a shot. That's not much of a measure of creativity, that's a measure of final ball ability which is its own thing. Creativity is far more than the final ball. Let's say Messi after a diagonal dribble makes the perfect through ball to Jordi Alba, setting him 1v1 with the keeper. If Jordi Alba then decides to square it to Suarez rather than shoot, Messi neither gets the assist nor the chance created. What expected assist does is that it takes all of that into consideration. So how does it do that? Expected assist is a measure of the likelihood that a pass will result in a primary assist based on a variety of factors such as location was received, a pass in a danger zone was worth far more than a pass on the halfway line, the type of pass, a square ball or a low cutback have a far higher XA value than something like a cross for example. And then depending on the stat provider, the number of defenders between the receiver and the net, the location of the defenders, as well as the type of pressure they're exerting. That 5 yard pass assist to Henri that Cesc made will have a significantly lower XA value than a through ball assist from Ezo, and so will that pass from Messi to Jordi Alba despite not even resulting in a shot. We know this intuitively. XA or expected assists simply quantifies it. It sounds convoluted but it's surprisingly accurate to the assist count. Really, any discrepancy between the number of assists and the expected assist value is down to the inaccuracy of assists as a measure of creativity rather than the other way around. It doesn't mean it's without its flaws though. Just like XG, it's not a perfect predictor of future results. It isn't accurate to the single pass or even a single game. It's an aggregate of thousands of previous cases and it's better used over the course of a full season for example. It doesn't recognize between a pass that is simply meant to retain possession and a final bull attempt so it can be tricked by volume. Since it's the XG sum of all passes, 
someone who dictates the final third can rack up expected assists without actually creating a single chance. And most importantly, it doesn't tell you how creative a player is. It tells you how creative a player has been. There's a difference. It takes two to tango and creativity isn't just reserved for the passer. Players can create chances with their movement as well. They're codependent and the limitation of one can severely affect the other. Let's go back to the Ozil Giroud situation for example. Let's keep in mind that through balls have one of the highest XG values per chance and crosses have one of the lowest. The problem with Giroud is he only wants the ball to feet and simply refuses to make runs into space for a through ball. When he doesn't want the ball to feet, he wants the ball in the air as a header from crosses which like I said have the lowest XG value per chance. And that severely limits Ozo as the creator. He can't make the highest XA value pass because it will be to no one and he's forced into only creating the lowest XA value chances. And then listen, listen, listen. And then Giroud had the nerve to turn around and try to fire a shot at Ozil after going 16 games without a goal and single-handedly costing Arsenal the title by saying, I need assists to score goals. And the absolute nerve of him. All right, I'll end that here before it turns into a full rant. I might have to do a full video on it one of these days. Anyways, don't forget to like if you liked it, share if you loved it, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.